Hey you guys there, welcome back to Born Wild. It's myself, David Perez, and I'm back from my social media uh, extravaganza, so to speak. I had to take that time off. It was, I was going crazy between that and work and then all of my uh, little zoo that I have. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I have something amazing coming up in the next week or so, and I will give you all a clue. It is big. Like, really, really, really <laughs> big. So uh, I can't wait to share that with you. So today we are going with the Bearded Dragon, one of the coolest little lizards. If you're looking for a lizard that has a puppy dog type uh, attitude, Bearded Dragon is the one to go with. So sit back and relax and uh, um, enjoy. I think I just hit my uh, screen back here. <laughs> The Bearded Dragon, also known as Beardies. These guys are native to Australia and commonly found in trees and the ground. The Bearded Dragon will be fully grown at 12 months of age. He or she should measure up to 16 to 24 inches long. And their tail is the same length as the body, just like this handsome fellow right before us. Now the name bearded dragon refers to the underside of the throat. Now when spooked, the bearded dragon's throat will turn all black. They also will open their mouths wide open to cool off, so don't think you're going to get big. Now bearded dragons are very friendly. I mean these guys are like puppy dogs and as you can see this guy here, he's just having a joy like looking at me whatever <laughs> but bearded dragons are very friendly they tolerate a lot of handling and they will adapt to captivity very quickly these guys make excellent 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 pets now a substrate on bearded dragons I always recommend sand um, with a water dish a hide UVB light it's a must uh, you can also buy UVB lights with the heat, and they last quite a while, but they are about 60 bucks. Do keep that in mind. And I also say 30 to 40 percent humidity, 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 105 Fahrenheit basking area, and then 80 Fahrenheit during the day. Now, the alternative substrate you can use if you don't want to use sand. Uh, paper towels, which mm, I don't really recommend that, uh, or uh, reptile carpet. Uh, reptile carpet looks really nice, but it also can be a little bit uh, messy. So your sand is a lot more enjoyable for your dragon, and it's easier to clean. The diet on bearded dragons. Uh, bearded dragons should at least eat once every 24 hours and while cute little babies should eat three times a day because it's common sense uh, they're babies never ever ever feed your bearded dragon anything bigger than the distance between the eyes distance between the eyes do not feed anything bigger than that you can cause your bearded dragon to choke you can also offer a wide variety of insects, wax worms, silk worms, red worms, mealworms, super worms, pinky mice, and also gut loaded crickets. That's just crickets that you've given the gut load vitamin to. Let's not forget also leafy greens and fruit. Um, when you're doing that, also sprinkle some calcium powder on your veggies and your fruits, even your insects. This will help ward off uh, bone disease, a common problem in dragons. So if you guys are looking for a bearded dragon, there are many breeders out there and a, a wide variety of color of these guys. I've seen them from white to red. So uh, you can check with your pet stores. They will help you with a proper setup. I know some stores, they actually sell entire kits of setups for bearded dragons. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. Uh, this guy here, he was just, just the sweetest ever. So 
may you guys all have a blessed day and be a responsible pet owner thank you so much well, you guys, that's about it so i will see you next wednesday and let me tell you uh it's something big <laughs> like really big so i will see you guys all next wednesday i hope you all have a very blessed and happy weekend stay i just got tongue tied be a responsible pet owner and i will see you next wednesday